peeps, what's going on? Welcome back. We are doing today a SP01 PL2. So, um, I have the blue gun here because uh, when the time came to purchase the SP01, I couldn't find one other than blue gun, so no big deal. But we're going to do um, a pretty sweet outside the waistband pancake, uh, just black, 175 loops, and uh, there's really no bells and whistles, no really nothing to it. So, I'm um, looking forward to this build. Uh, Blue guns are literally my last resort for doing this because um, they're literally exact dimensions and uh, sometimes they warp, sometimes they shrink, um, they, you know, they don't leave it blocked, the, the ejection port is all open, so that's filled with Bondo right now. Um, so you, you literally got to um, work everything. Now with CZ75s and pretty much CZs, they're really the only family I know that does it, is this pot part right here gives you crap so when you are doing a holster for just this firearm uh, you need a block right here because of the the rail so the rail extends out so if you don't block that your the guns not going in the holster and if by some miracle it does it ain't coming out so um, luckily when you do a light bearing you do not need to worry about that because obviously the trigger is uh, covered so we will mount this as it is looks pretty good all right and then we will cover this up so it's literally um it's just a right hand no cant uh full sweat shield and, and so on so it should be a, a pretty straightforward build um the only difference is is it's actually light bearing so I'm not really too worried and you know if you're out there and you're doing your your very first light bearing like i'm not gonna lie i hated light bearings when i first started it now, I still don't care for them because they take so long, but it's fun now, so it is what it is. But I'll tell you though, when I when I first got into Kydex, I absolutely hated doing outside the waistbands. I couldn't I couldn't stand it because you know it's two pieces and it's just nothing was working. I didn't know what the heck was going on. Plus, I really didn't know what I was doing. And um, so now it's just now it's just better. All right, so we're gonna have to see that rocks right there. So we will have to build up something so it does not do that so until then what I will do is let me check the blocking here that should actually be fine for both so um, yeah so let me see here. do five layers on this Might as well on this side. And there's the end of that roll. A little bit thicker, don't matter. Like I said, we're going to have to build this up slightly. Um, probably going to use that there. See what that does. Nope, not enough. So what I'll do is I'll take that and just kind of anchor it and get a second one. Do the same thing just to build up the uh, layers underneath it. Ah, much better. All right, so that needs to have a home. And there we go. Make sure it's straight. Have 
that there. So we're going to do some another retention plate. That's good, but. So I'm just going to bend this a little bit so it fits just a hair better. Find where it's going. And tape it down. side. Most likely gonna have to do the same thing with the uh, the blocking. But we will find out. Generally if you have to do it on one side, you have to do it on the other. Yep. We'll have to do that. So I will look for Couple pieces. Just throw that into there. That might actually be thick enough. Yep, thick enough. We'll go like that, and this is bent. There we go. Should be perfect, right about there. Fancy pistol holder. All right, there we are. And then we need to pick something that will stick out. Preferably not a lot, but that should work. Right as it's set. This piece of uh, blocking is actually designed for the um, Streamlight TLR1 but it works great for that. So there it is. Um, that is all set to press. So we're going to heat up our Kydex. It's going to be uh, 350 degrees for each piece. And then uh, I'll pull it out and we'll get back to it. See you soon. Fresh out of the press, it looks flipping sweet. So uh, we know it's going to be one and three quarter loops. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. And um, hell yeah. So. Uh, we know the trigger guard generally starts around here, uh, so we want to be able to get a good purchase on here. So that's where we're going to start in that area. We're going to use this contour gauge. Get that there. And we'll come up. We're just going to do this right here. We'll draw this part later. Mark where these are going to go. Like I said, about a pencil width away. 
I've been doing these so long, I just eyeball it now. Whatever you feel is good. I don't want to go too wide because then it just looks like crap. Get my drill guide, which I'm actually going to start producing these as well as soon as I get the um, proper machine in to do it. Uh, looking into a CNC machine so I could go ahead and offer a lot of these blockings that aren't available anymore. So, should be good. There. Light. And we'll, do we want to come up or do we want to go straight across? Yeah, we'll go straight across. See how that. Just see how that goes. If we don't like it, we could always cut more off. Can never add. All right. This is going to be quarter inch rivets, so we're going to need quarter inch holes. Grab L clamps. I'll drill those real quick. And if you know when I do light bearing, you know I like to do a second hole. So we will put one right there. Helps keep the shape. Gotta turn it around to this guy. Alright, now that these holes are drilled, we're going to pop this guy apart. Oh, I love when it sticks together like that. Literally so stuck together that I had to cut around everywhere just to be able to pry it apart. Whew, that was fun. So, anyways, put that back together, grab a couple rivets. One, apparently I missed the other. And the reason for the rivets is so it doesn't move when you're drilling the retention holes. And again, my retention holes are 7.30 seconds. So now that that's out though, let's go ahead and take this back apart. I actually cleaned my bench too. I was sick of stuff everywhere and I couldn't find anything. So I figured I'd take a couple minutes and do that while well, this was in the press. Do that so the bondo didn't fall off because it for some reason I think there must have been oil or something like that on there. So no big deal. So we will take a firearm and map out where the trigger is. So cut right there. And now we're gonna come up. And my sweat shield stop at the um, at the site. Oh, yay. And then with this here, we'll come across. We'll go right 
right there. All right. Get these uh, rivets out of here. And what I will do is we'll clean up all the holes with, it is a countersink tool. Um, I just use it as deburrer, so I call it a deburring tool. Uh, you can find it literally anywhere. And that's what it looks like. So I think they're like three bucks. You can get them on holstersmith.com as well. So, um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the hardware so we can mount the uh, adjustable retention because that's a good idea to do now. All right, so we're getting it back. We gotta deburr this. This is a quarter inch. This right here is half inch. And these screws are 0.4375 under the head. We're going to throw some rivets in and finish cutting the rest. Dogs in here having a grand old time. So I recently ordered a um, bandsaw, and tracking says it's going to be any day. So I'm hoping it soon. So I got a drill press, bandsaw. I got like a pretty good one with uh, fixtures in it, so I could do like cut pipes and stuff for the cars downstairs. But it's going to uh, stay up here, right behind me. So I'm going to redo this area, and I'm. Every night I've been going through stuff and I got a junk pile and a storage pile, so hopefully I can get this place cleaned up how I want it soon. Alright. There's that.
So now we're checking fitment, which is pretty good. Plus, it's loose right now. I never even tightened it. So now, all we have to do is bend the ears, and we all know that once you bend the ears, it, tight, it uh, loosens up anyway. So, what's the point of tightening it now? We'll take the heat gun. I actually uh, just got a strip heater in. I don't have room for it yet. I gotta extend my bench. Um, but that's what you would use as well to bend these. You'll have to see a video coming up on a strip heater soon. I hold it by hand, make sure it's even. We'll let it cool. Okay, we are ready to assemble. So I also actually want to show you a new tool. It's uh, just a little Milwaukee drill, and uh, I'm using it for finishing purposes instead of my uh, Ryobi. Uh, ergonomics are a lot better. It's uh, about the same weight, so that really doesn't matter, but uh, perfect for getting rid of that pesky screwdriver anyway so we're doing um, quarter inch and quarter inch so uh, quarter inch um, nuts here and then let's see here or threaded posts I should say quarter inch bushings then half inch screws let's see here get some uh, some Loctite on these guys. And I already did a quick wipe down. And then after this, it's going for laser engraving. And there we have it. 